Hello everyone and welcome back to Carnivore Transformation. So, I've just come across a tweet which I think highlights a very common misconception which I think seriously needs debunking. Human beings are omnivores. This may be to your surprise, but human beings are not strict omnivores. The tweet in question read, Humans are omnivores, not carnivores. A small percentage of people can stomach a carnivore diet, but most of us cannot, and it can even be dangerous. Get on a balanced diet immediately before you inadvertently kill yourself and also visit your doctor or a clinic for a full blood test as soon as you can. Funny, because no one has ever died from eating a proper human diet, like that which is recommended by Dr. Ken Berry. Human beings are not, in fact, omnivores, but natural carnivores that have developed a tolerance for plant food for survival purposes. I believe this to be the case based on a combination of evolutionary, anatomical, and physiological evidence. While humans can consider consume a wide range of foods, including both animal and plant-based sources. Our evolutionary history primarily shaped us as carnivores, with an increasing capacity to handle plant foods over time. But before I get into the rest of the video, I just want to give a quick shout out to Bulk Electrolytes. Supplementing electrolytes is crucial for sticking to a carnivore diet. But sadly, the vast majority of electrolyte powders have all kinds of flavorings and additives, which will damage your health and your carnivore progress. I personally, though, use unflavored electrolytes from Bulk, and I'll put a link to them in the description down below. They are an absolute lifesaver. Now, let me lay out the evidence for this theory. Evolutionary history. Studies of human ancestors and early hominids suggest that our distant predecessors were primarily carnivorous or scavenging predators. The early Homo species, such as Homo habilis and Homo erectus, were likely reliant on animal protein for survival. The consumption of meat provided crucial nutrients and energy, contributing to the development of our larger brain size and cognitive abilities. Anatomical features. Human anatomy shares several characteristics with carnivorous animals. For instance, we have forward-facing eyes, a sign of predator vision that facilitates depth perception, which is beneficial for hunting. Additionally, our canine teeth, although not as pronounced as those in obligate carnivores, are sharper than those of most herbivorous animals, indicating that we have adaptations for tearing flesh. Digestive system. While not fully comparable to exclusive carnivores, as we have adapted to tolerate plant food, human digestive systems share some similarities. The human stomach produces hydrochloric acid, which helps break down proteins in meat. Additionally, we have relatively short intestines, like other carnivores, which may suggest a diet adapted to the efficient processing of animal proteins. Protein requirements. Essential nutrients, such as certain amino acids and vitamin B12, are more readily available in animal-based foods than in plant-based sources. Although humans can obtain these nutrients from plants through various combinations and supplementation, the easier accessibility from animal sources suggests that our bodies evolved with a preference for animal-derived nutrients. For us, nutrients are far more more bioavailable when they come from animal products. And I really think that is some serious evidence for this theory that human beings are carnivores with an adaptation for plant food tolerance. Modern day evidence. 
While some cultures have continued to emphasize animal-based diets, others have shifted towards predominantly plant-based diets. However, the tolerance for plant foods has not evolved uniformly across all populations, leading to varying levels of tolerance for plant-based diets among individuals. The data also clearly suggests that populations which eat high red meat diets live the longest. Paul Saladino, despite some of his weirder diet views, emphasized this point rather well in his debate with a vegan activist, which I will leave a link to in the description down below if you're interested. So, there is some of the evidence that humans have evolved for a diet high in animal products with a tolerance for plant food. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And until next time, stay carnivorous.